Well, hello everyone, and welcome to um, Saturday. No? Yeah, Saturday. Um, I've been talking about every now and again. I would talk about. Uh, also, don't mind the siren in the background. That's the kind of town we live in. Um, <laughs> what? Um, count how many times you say um. Anyway. Um, <laughs> Shut up. Shut up. Just shut up. I've been hinting at uh, Dad's garden for a little while, but I've never gotten around to showing it. So, Dad, if you will, please, show us around. Just two? Impressive. Anyway. Uh, i got to yes. cut that out now. Yes. Welcome to the <laughs> Bucketopia Garden. Thomas probably has already explained it. If he hasn't, I'm sure he'll explain Bucketopia. Anyway, uh, it's my first ever real effort to try gardening. I've done, I tried one time growing some tomatoes, some beans, and okra and stuff like that. Uh, and I, I got enough basically to make a salad for a mouse. However, uh, this time I've really taken it more, a little more seriously. The older I get, the more I realize that the hippies were right about a lot of stuff. Uh, for example, giving back to the earth, trying to take care of what we got because we don't have, we only have a limited supply of earth. Uh, growing your own and that kind of thing and so uh, I've taken upon myself this year to actually try to use my land for producing vegetables, producing food for at least my family and if we have any surplus maybe I'll try to make a little money on the side um, <clears throat> but whatever uh, I plan on growing uh, tomatoes um, okra I think I've got on the list cucumbers um, squash you know your standard type vegetables uh, what I've done here is I've marked off an 8 by 12 plot. I've been covering it uh, over the fall with leaves, which I'm hoping will... <laughs> okay, touche. Anyway, uh, covering it with mulch and uh, things like that that hopefully will actually work into the soil and help replenish the nutrients that are involved. Um, <laughs> um, I also have back in the very back, there's a compost pile. Sure. Okay, come on. Actually, let's outline these two plots first. Oh, um, yeah, because you can't hardly make it out. Yeah. Um, basically, this plot, for example, goes from this corner right here to this corner right here to this corner right here and right here. And this one, you got about the same, same size spot, just a few feet apart here. Here, here, and over here. And over here, you can also see some got some uh, other things growing. This is some kale I started in buckets. For um, for those who, of course, are learning about this for the first time, this is why it's called Bucketopia. He's using buckets to grow certain plants, at least until we get them moved into the plots. Um, I actually had a few tomatoes on. Uh, Tamina right there. Tamina. Uh, Tamina's pretty much gone. She's going to be compost eventually. This is a kale plant that I'm actually still seeing some activity out of. The other one, well, hmm, not so good. Not so much. But uh, this one, actually, I'm seeing some more activity. She's still, she's still growing. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to see what, see what happens. I may end up with some kale sandwiches or something. And now on to the compost. To the compost pile. Now, compost is basically taking organic material, it's something that once was living, and... Uh, Allowing it to die, to rot, if you will, uh, to, what's the word I'm looking for? Recycle? No, um, the process of rotting. Um, decompose. Thank you, decompose. <laughs> and in doing so, it becomes organic compost. Uh, this can include uh, yard, garden waste, yard waste, uh, some food, materials. I've been adding some tea bags and uh, some coffee and different things like that, eggshells and stuff like that. You, as I understand it, you don't want to add a whole lot of uh, animal product. But eggshells are okay. Uh, you want to keep that the other stuff to a minimum. I don't know why, it, but anyway. And uh, basically what happens is underneath this, underneath this big pile of leaves we just added, is uh, what's going, what is becoming some uh, Organic matter, and I've got some soil mixed in here too, uh, unfortunately, because in order to get, well, it's a long story. Anyway, uh, it just kind of came up in it. But uh, that's going to decompose. It's going to become something that's 
I'm going to be able to mix into the soil to add more nutrients because plants got to eat too. Um, if I was a little more organized, I would have built a structure out here. But about the time I started this, I, thought, I said, I'm going to start small. And now it's kind of growing to the size where I wish I had a little framework to it. Mm. Uh, uh, perhaps next year. Um, as I do this more and more, I'm going to learn more. I'm going to become more organized. I'm going to see the need for different things. And I'll um, add to the, uh, the grounds exactly what I need. And uh, oh, something else I want to show you uh, real quick is what I'm hoping to become kind of a self-watering system. And this is something Thomas has helped me out with a lot today, helping me get ready for. On our little bitty house, a little bitty shack that we've got, we've got one gutter that's on the front of the house. Now, here in North Carolina, we do get the occasional droughts. Um, it's not as bad as out in the Midwest or anywhere like that, but we do have times when we wish we had some water. Henceforth, one right here, I'm collecting some water. I'm probably going to not be able to use that because I've got too much already. I'll probably end up dumping this out, but it did give me some ideas. And this is where this is going to come in. Mind the, mind the narrow passage here. I cleaned out the gutter system because it actually was so clogged up that it actually had shrubbery growing in it. Oh, good. Uh, I, I actually just learned that. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you saw some of them, you know, what, what you called, um, what was it you called it? Uh, directive. Directive. Those of you who's watched Wally, you know what we're talking about. <laughs> anyway, uh, there was a major clogs right through here. I took this apart, cleaned it out. And what I've done is instead of having this at the bottom. Oh, go ahead. Interestingly enough, and I'm going to cut my dad off here for just a second. Um, this thing has been clogged for Quite a while. two years? Mm, not that long. Not that long? Year and a half, maybe? Yeah, maybe. Um, and the time that we tried to unclog it, we used a drain snake. And no matter how much we used it, we couldn't get the clog out. Stubborn. stubborn most, one of the most stubborn clogs. And we get them here. I got one in the bathroom now that I can't figure out why the way that snake them. But we're, we're, that'd be that time. Anyway, uh, instead of having the instead of having the little uh, drain spout out here where the water's going to go and wash down, add water to the side of the house, my plan at this point, and it, uh, my plans tend to adapt, but it, my plan at this point is to have this this uh, drain hose just dump into this trash can. Or a similar container. Now, out the bottom of this trash can, there'll be a little drain of some sort that I'm going to add, and there'll be a garden hose. Now, that garden hose will also have a little valve of some sort, I think. And we're going to bring that down through here, back through this little narrow passageway. Uh, probably under the storage building. Where we'll have it over here, and I'm not exactly 100% sure how I'm going to do this. I'm thinking of buying what you call a soaker hose, which is a hose that basically, as it fills up, it is covered with like a foam type stuff that actually gets wet and it allows the ground, allows the uh, water to seep out of the hose. It's got holes along the liner of it, and the, the sponge itself actually will wet the soil. That way, I'm not having to hose the soil down and possibly damage the plants. And I'll have it break into like three, three, maybe four hoses down through here. That will come through here and we'll water. Now, obviously, what will happen is when it rains, it'll collect into that barrel as it fills up. And if I need to, if I see the soil needs, I need some water. Rather than run new water, I can take that water that we've pulled from the air through the way of rain, turn the valve on, and let it kind of seep through here. After a little while, I can come out here and see if I need more and if I need to, I can always add to it. I gotta stick it on the back of the house too. But um, I can add to it. And thereby I'm not wasting water. Again, trying to take care of the environment. I'm not wasting water. Uh, I'm not wasting and I'm not wasting a whole lot of my energy coming out here watering something that's gonna be that easy. So my goal is to make my, my life easier but also give back to the planet. All right, that was long winded and incredible. Um <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for the second part. <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, that's the that's what I've been alluding to for a while now, but never really had the the wherewithal to really talk about it. 
Um, before before we go for today, um, first off, I did order uh, Ocarina of Time 3D. I had to buy it through Amazon because get the GameStop at uh, my work didn't have it. So I just went ahead and bought it. Uh, it should should arrive. <coughs> it should arrive just before Christmas. So um, with luck, Jamal will get his uh, get his Christmas present on time. Um, also, you guys remember that um, with the second to last time, third to last time that the power supply died on my computer. Um, shut up. <laughs> the hard drive, which had a bunch of logs on it, died. And one of those logs was the day that we got that. So, a lot of you probably don't know much about it, but we did get a storage building, and there are multiple vlogs where I, that I'm currently editing now, where we move a bunch of stuff from the storage center down the street into the storage building. So that's... That's the whole story behind that. Um, I still have yet to do the recap video, but I will be doing that soon as I'm coming up on the day that I lose all the vlogs. So, that'll be fun. Anyway, that's going to be it for today. Uh, thank you all so much for watching. Uh, would you like to outro us? Do you know how to do it? Uh, do what? Do you know how to do it? Do what? The outro? No. Uh, say, um... That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until tomorrow, I'll see you all later. And point to the camera. You better do it. <laughs> I don't remember all that. That's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. Until tomorrow, I'll see you all later. There you go. <laughs>